one of the great things about this show is that it's more than just a competition. It's a great place to learn about different types of dogs, and there's so many, each with their own personality and habits. And if you're thinking of adding a dog to your family, this is a great place to get an idea of which might be the best fit. Mel Camp is over at Meet the Breeds area where you can get to know different kinds of dogs. Hi, Mel. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. This, I am having the best time ever meeting the breeds. No, this is not a dating game. This is a real life meeting the dog breeds here at the dog show and it's absolutely awesome. If you are thinking you want a dog, I want to know if you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? I'm thinking I would be a Labradoodle. I don't know, Nevea, if you were a dog, what would you be? Probably a Betlington. A Betlington, which is, which, this is your dog. Okay, so it's really important to think about the personalities of a dog and whether it's the right breed for you. And this is the perfect place to come and meet some amazing dogs. This dog looks like a sheep, and that is because it was bred to guard sheep. <laughs> Be like a sheep in sheep's clothes, a dog in sheep's clothing, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, what's so special about this breed, and what sort of person would be suited to a breed like this? Um, a loving, caring, energetic person, because they are very sensitive dogs, and you need to be a sensitive person to get along with them. Okay. Actually, I could do that. I'm loving and caring and sensitive. I'm loving you guys. You guys are really sweet. Okay, these dogs. I'm not even going to try and say their name. I'm going to jump up and talk with Deborah because Deborah. What is the name of these guys? These are Natalansa Quaker Hunja. That many syllables means the Dutch Duck Trapper's little dog. I love that. The duck the Dutch Duck Trapper's little dog. These guys are so sweet and so pretty and I imagine many people would think they would dog like a dog like this, but what sort of person would you have to be to really deserve a dog like this? You need to be an experienced dog person. These dogs are as smart as Border Collies and as tough as any terrier you ever met. They don't like strange dogs in general. They may not like strange people. These are exceptionally friendly, but they need an owner who understands and can read dog language and who is familiar with training a sensitive, intelligent breed with a high prey drive. Right, which is, there's a, there is so much that goes into finding the right dog. And if we wander over to this big guy, this is the giant schnauzer. Hey, beauty, did you think I had treats? Um, this is this is really awesome because, Katie, your mum breeds these dogs and, and this is one of your lineage yes, here, yes. Jolie. Yes, Jolie. And it's so important. We have an owner, we have a breeder. And it's really important to think about responsible dog ownership. And we were speaking about this earlier. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a really big deal to be a responsible dog owner. I mean, meet the breeds. It's it's a really good opportunity in order to see and ask questions. I mean, you could see the dog structure, you could see its temperament. You could do a lot at meet the breeds, ask the breeder questions, ask the owner questions, especially for breeds like this. It's good to do your research beforehand. So, yeah, which is because you really want to make sure that you're getting the right dog for you. Why did you know that Jolie was the right dog for you? Well, we talked to the breeder. They told us about the lineage. They told us about their dog. And I have had giant schnauzers before. And it's just a good fit. And then it's also very important to get a breeder who is going to work with you. Okay, well, there you go. So if you're going for a breeder, then that is what you want to do. Do your research and know what you're getting into and see if any of these awesome dogs are right for you. But otherwise, I say rescues rule and um, sending it back to you guys and our Tex or Texicorn, as I like to call him, because um, we know that he, of course, came from the HSPCA. So there you go. Lots of options for getting dogs, but just make sure you get the right dog for you. Absolutely. I need that, that haircut, that I sheep know. haircut. So cute. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mel.